Hey guys! So, for today's video, we're going to be learning how to groom a horse. Now this is for complete beginners, um, or if you just know a little bit about it. This is the correct way to do it. So, I'm going to teach you all the names of the brushes and everything you need to know. So first of all, you're going to need to get either your lesson horse, or your own horse, or your leasing horse, or whatever. You just got to grab a horse. This is my horse. Her name is Ready Dixie Star. Everybody say hi. Dixie, you gonna say hi to the camera? Hi, 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 Dixie, hi. hi. Okay, she's kind of shy today. But the first brush that you're gonna use, sorry, I have to search, okay. First brush that you're gonna use is called a curry comb. It's just called that no matter where you live. So, um, this is Reddy's curry comb. I don't know if this is backwards or not, but this is her name. As I call her ready sometimes. Now, those are two different kinds of curry combs. But there are a few different types. Um, but I like these. Um, but you're going to see a bunch of different types of curry combs. Um, but this is the very common one. So what you're going to do is obviously you're going to slide your home in. Or if you have one, like you're just going to grab onto it. Um, or if you have one that doesn't have this, you're just going to go like this. Um, and you're going to do circles, like kind of kind of hardly. So let me just put her mane here so you can see how I do this. Is I, so I take it, hey, hey, okay, first of all, so... Circles this way, so you're going to go like on the way to your butt, you know, so like this. I'm gonna speed this up for time purposes. Don't be afraid to go really hard, you're not gonna hurt them, you're just gonna tickle them if you go too soft. Basically what this brush does is it just, um, it loosens up all the hair and dirt. Next brush that you're going to take is called Stiff Brush, Hard Brush, Dandy Brush, Flick Brush. There's so many names for this one, but I call this the Stiff Brush. So these come very different looking, um, but they all pretty much look the same. They're like hard bristles like this. Some of them have the strap, some of them don't. I like the ones better with the strap. It just feels better and everything. Um, but you don't have to get one with. Um, there's so many different ones. But basically, it's very stiff. And it just flicks all that dirt right off. And again, with this one, you, you want to go hard. Um, but you're going to go the same direction as the way you were circling with your curry comb. So you're going to go this way. You know? So towards her butt all over her body. Same thing on the other side. So now that you're done with this, you're just going to go and get a different brush. Personally, one of my favorites this is called the soft brush or shining brush or finishing brush. My favorite. Okay. Now, this one I would definitely recommend also getting the little strap thingies. Um. This is a brushes, All kinds of stuff. But this is where I got this one from Tractor Supply. It's really cute. It's like super soft. Um, and it just shines their mane and it makes them feel really good and in some cases it can relax them. So I really like this one. And with 
this one, you don't have to go as hard. You can just go just gently glide. You know, just kind of like, you just want to make them shiny. So just... So the next thing that you're gonna use, um, now this is just called a mane and tail brush. Um, they come and all like some of them are square. You can also use human brushes for this or combs for this. But I, um, I use the horse ones. I got this from Horse Town. Um, you can get these from like Trust Supply, Horse Town, and all that stuff. Um, you usually want to use conditioner or like detangler made for horses, um, which is right here. Um, there's like different ones that are made for horses, but I use, I like using, um, that, but right now her, her hair is dyed and I cleaned it and it's not that tangled. I just like shampooed it a few days ago, so I want to keep it kind of clean. do is so you've already sprayed in your detangler and stuff um so you're gonna start by here and work your way up all the way to her pole so what you're gonna do is hey that was not nice what you're gonna do is you're gonna start from the bottom and slowly work to the top so, streaks of color in it, it's kind of cute, but look. Okay, so, you want to start from the bottom, then go to the top, like that. You just want to do that the whole way. So, that's what you're going to do then, that when you are combing the mane. That's what you want to do the entire time you're combing the mane. So, I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so now you're going to do the tail. Um, now you're also going to spray, probably, definitely do condition on the tail. The tail, you probably don't want to do it like every day, I, I do, but you probably don't want to. That's not a good idea because you want to try to keep the hair as much as possible. Um, you're not supposed to do it every day. You're supposed to do it like every few days or every couple weeks or every week maybe. Um, what I would recommend. Um, so there's two ways you could do this. You could either go like this, you know, and work your way up like this, or you could just take... Do one big, you know, and just go more and more. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And fast forward. the tail's all done you're gonna do the feet but first I have to go check on something hold on guys okay so now we're gonna do the hooves and the reason why the camera's on the floor is because I want you guys to see this correctly so I'm actually gonna bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see it better so for this you're gonna have to get a hoof pick it's just called a hoof pick, nothing else. Um, now some of them just look like this, and those are sharper and they're kind of better for cleaning, 
but I prefer the ones with the brush. But some people just have a different separate brush for that. Um, so you're gonna stand the opposite way, like to her butt, and then you're gonna like just ask for it like this. You're gonna lean on them, and she should pick it up right away. And then. So, okay, so now let me show you all the parts of the hoof that you want to watch out for. So, this is the frog right here. Okay, let me just place it so that it's easier, okay. So, over here you have the frog, and you don't want to pick at this, okay? The rest of this, because the frog is kind of squishy, and it's very um, sensitive. So, you just want to pick at the little corners right here. You can go... All of you here at the edge and everything, you can pick at this, it's fine. The fairies do this all the time. So you're gonna go like that. And you can even pick inside here. But you don't want to hurt this part. For all four legs, um, so again, you're just gonna lean, pick it up. She's pretty good with her feet being done. And you're gonna do that for all of their feet. And you always wanna pick away, unlike I was doing. So now the face. Now this is optional. You don't have to use any of these brushes, but I think they like it and I really like it for them. And I, you know, they like it. So this is. don't do this so this is optional of course um now, the one thing that I like to do too though is take her halter and do this now I have her tie down on you can do this with a halter as well you just unclip it and you do this that way their their face is all free for you um, but if you have a very active horse that always likes to move you might not want to do this so there's also a face curry. It looks like this and it's very like small while we're eating around. I have it, but I don't feel like going to get it. Um, Am I chopping this? Yes. Oh my god. What you want to do is you can just lightly, like this one you want to be gentle. So you can just use the curvy comb just lightly on her cheeks, this part of their face, on both sides of their cheeks, and on their ears here and everything. But then you want to take a stiff brush for their face, and you're just going to flick all the dirt off after you've loosened it with that brush. She really likes her face being done, as you guys can see. So now we're going to take the soft brush for her face. And it's like super soft and everything. I washed this like a couple days ago. So this one you can go on her cheeks, of course. Mm -hmm. Inside her ears, I like to do that. Because she her ears are always itching, look. So she really likes it being done. Okay, well now she's not. Usually she loves her ears being scratched. Um, but of course now on camera she's not going to want to. You can go over their eyes with this one and on their little nose. Um, you can go a lot more with this one, but of course be gentle. But you want to, you can go a lot more places with this one because it's extremely soft. Okay, and um, that's everything you need to know about grooming your horse.